the earth is spun, agriculture and industry new life begun, but it's tough to till, there's pestilence and plague, killing crops, killing farmers, famine and hunger, then peace ever after. Eden and red, a strange world it is, much like the home that once was did. The world rages, seas of industry and fields of extraction, yet here down under the sweetest attraction. A vision, a paradise so pure, a forgotten place, time stood still, secret from the rest, the lecherous swill. If you live and here they'll stay, glad to see creatures kept bay. There everything is all, where nothing is new, hunting and gathering, loving and living, dreaming and singing, dancing and giving. There's death, but it's honest, there's troubles, but they're fleeting, troubles only when seas and skies heaving, human creatures in nature believing. Clean and fresh, so safe they'll keep keeping. The world now smaller, age of the explorer. New lands to find, new lands to mine. Native mines to wash, native lines to squash. Red Eden, the mythical, Mother England, umbilical. Floating and white. Seas with wings, bowers, hulls, and dangerous things. Last paradise outed, greed sent them, their power they flouted. Cook, Christ, chains, gunshots, hate spouted. Not content with their continents already, here they come, steadfast and heady. The light they bring, good books used to bridle, the innocent unwilling, the last true disciples. Of sugar and cane, axe, stone and steel, burning and building this paradise, steel. Relegated to outskirts, out of sight, out of mind, their flesh and bones blasted, in droves moved on by. But this bush their weapon, this they've mastered. They thrive, survive, and remember old classes. A vision, not deja vu. A brand new day for you and you and you. Sudden death and greed that kills. That gave you church and steeple. I cry again for warrior men. Gone from kith and kind. And I wondered when I would find a pen. To probe your freckled mind. Jack Davis. Innocent and small. There's made more than plant and animal, little blighters, vicious, unfathomable. Striking down the strongest man, laying waste to countless cities. Creatures made for death, relentless, knows no pity. Pox and pus, green and gash, of painful skin and itchy rash. Hacking and spewing, bleeding and begging. In turmoil, helpless, lives ending. And from host to host they clamber, picking prey and prayers, no answer. Microscopic, godlike in their absence, lover like in their presence, devilish in their offense. Was it lesson or abandon? They call their ill my will, hang my head in shame I may, and say I love them even still. The most deadly spawn, bacteria. Hysteria and desperate dawn lives in soil, meat, and water, carried on air, and by touch they slaughter. Somber and grey. Red earth creatures, the last of the first, hastily now must protect from the worst. The bleak skies did turn a way of world autonomy. I watch and wait and wonder how strong they'll be. Microscopic creatures came on crafts with sails of white, with churn and cough and reach and wretch, invisible creatures they beset. Here, some blankets to help and see you fight. The shush, beware the little mites. Strange visitors, strange symptoms, strange ministers. Red Earth ones, I pity them. Soon with me, I'll have them be. They're overrun. The carelessness of curiosity. The ambition of discovery. Brought with a doomsday into Red Earth ones, atrocity. Final paradise lost like the rest. It's hard to imagine the pain they went through. Hardships they fought and battles won. White plans of plague and prejudice undone. Virus and voice. Virus spreads, ideas do too, infected tongue, new words to speak, old songs unsung. As wildfire sweeps, like disease it eats, away at ancient and first true speech. Illness of the body troubles, meddling of the mind gets muddled. Fleshly fever favours media frenzy, fables. Mind meddling, forgotten, fact come fiction fashioned. Soul sin sidelined for romantic myth as moulded. Sufferance from ignorance, deadly as venom while overcome and bested, virus and voice not rested. Strange visitors, strange speech, strange institutions, 
Language is a weapon, a mighty tool, a spiritual fuel. Language is a weapon, a way to rule and disannule. Our names, cultural, no role. Our published paper ended up in pubs and in bins. It seems so easy for the computerized idiots, non thinking servants of the robot world, to tick away our lives with their poison pens. But we will always be the worker who, the human who, the abo who survived. Lionel Fogarty. Proud and true, red earth creatures made anew. 60,000 years and counting, ancient strength imbued horses mounting. Into battle again they go, taking strides and laying blows. To colonial systems entrenched today, a master's way that's not to stay. Lost things found, returned stolen ground. With new voice and words they rose, found power, power, power. A hard-won equality, resistant cultural lobotomy. Yes, things still fester and things still sour, but face it bold, now is the hour. Good tenants, red-earthed creatures, custodians of this land, that old charge not quite fulfilled, earth still needs a helping hand. Colour and cloud, the world seems neater, still a mess, but tempered with metre. Petulance though, somewhat abated, hope again, little creatures not wasted. Past lessons tested, by reparations bested. A long way to come, ignorance still lives on in some. Desperate calls for help still sung, but seeds of Eden at last seem sprung. On climate and collusion, poison and pollution, marches, songs and articles, policies and solutions, the air now seems clearer, the future now seems nearer. Knowledge of the past is held, together human race does meld. But life is never assuredly held. Of new technology and quests for infamy, evil actions mutate biology. Bacteria and botany, evil doers tame. To maim and play vile, wicked games. And on the cusp of a new world released, newest virus inside us eats. Grand halt economy. Shop shutters shut, kitchens, classes closed. Virus reigns abominably. Buildings in blank. At walls you now stare, in homes you hunker, cower, bunker. Hold up safe in grand designs for microscopic creatures whose hurt is blind. To blame or not to blame, familiar foe. Evil which lingered, for blame shall be fingered. Cunning and wit, man does omit, my device, I gave him this. Joyous life unfettered, with conditions though expected. But they dug deeper, ate and ate more greedier, overstocked and overspent. Sick and needy, overlooked, overbent. Timely greed in times of need. Kindness conditions some did not heed. Red earth creatures left behind, yet gifts of cunning I gave them. The gift of compassion to save them. Fiendly virus found fierce foe. Angels clothed in plastic robes, halos forgone for furrowed brows. Fighting day and night, feeling death and fending life. In spite of all the best efforts, sadly, he won't survive. To God he weeps and cries, help me, please. Don't ignore my basic needs, it's your ingredients in our disease. If not for love, but for your pride, I beg you, stem our demise. The pain on our faces, our disguise, do we not look like you? Do you not recognize? We never left you, you left us still, even though you made us to have free will. Our contract with the divine, default, default, now, show some spine. Did we stray so far from grace for you to not help us win this race? Old law true, new changes sue. Dream of the never-never, into the dreaming, lay down and rest, broken body, now sleeping. Splendid and black, the body pain subsides, the world noise diminishes, he sees a vision, behold his paradise. My life, my ancestry, my cause, my colour, my beauty, my blood and flesh, my bones and hair, my birth, my youth, even my death. I'm at rest from life, impatience and pain. In the hereafter, the dreaming I became. I succumbed to strange illness, though I survived foreign foes. Deliberate decimation, verbal vanquishment, God knows. Now I'll watch you, guide you, advise you, my kind, my kin, my people. I love you, my love, not feeble. Sunburned country, burns and famishes. Australia modern's ancient muse, compassion perseveres and hope renews. Red earth creatures, 
symbols of a once whole human race, nearly decimated and defaced. History is lost, erased, resilient their descendants. Action, march and protest, organise and stabilise. Healthcare, welfare, inquests. Old skills maintained, old hate, old crimes they name. Old kind, new blood, old flame. To halls of power people came to press the politics, their living shame. Guided by ancestral blessings, Baraku, Baranyi, Bari, Banya. Writers who have the nation's ear, your pen, a sword, opponents fear. Speak of our evils loud and clear that all may know. Kath Walker. And today, now here you are, standing tall and standing large, beleaguered and bereaved, now esteemed and believed. Times have changed, but history endures. The pains of old in you imbued. Without hate go forth, and without hate you must, as Australia modern behaves unjust. To others now of different skin, of different hue. On your lands, your ways of love and freedom, needed now to prejudice leaving. The trials ahead go miles ahead, with allies watched over, now you bolster. Mothers, brothers, formidable. Babies, cousins, foster. Fathers, fishing, fortune. Aboriginal, invincible.